All right. Let's get this started. Welcome everyone. Well, welcome back everyone to Mario Maker 2, but it's Mario Land Shake It because I feel like it. In the last episode, we went ahead and we recreated the first level, so now we're recreating the second one. Except we also have to collect every coin because of course we do. Hey, Dr. Callus Robot and Luke W, welcome to the stream. Now, in this series, um, not everything is going to be perfectly accurate because it really can't be perfectly accurate. Like, there doesn't exist the shaking ca capabilities. Wow, who could have guessed? Mario Brothers 1 doesn't have motion controls? Wow, much surprise. But yeah, because there are a lot of missing stuff, we are taking some um, leniencies, to say the least. Hey, Pez, welcome to the stream. And Kaka and Anorexia. Super garlic and it turns you into Wario. Actually, not a bad idea. Because, I mean, you could... He would also have a pretty simple moveset. You could add stuff like the shoulder bash, the shake, and all that stuff. I feel like it would be easier to implement than, like, Link was. I still think he has a really big influence. Hey, GMD, welcome to the stream. So, in the bottom right corner, you can actually see my playthrough of a game with all coins. I'm just having there, that there for reference, so that way you guys can actually see what's going on. And you don't have to randomly guess. Wait, does that actually exist? Because yes, it does. Hey, Trio, welcome to the stream. Now, I do have to make sure you can't cheese this by jumping up onto the Koopa, because that's one really big thing that could be a problem. Because, what if you can do this? This is supposed... And this is one tough part about this level. Because, as you can see in the corner... Let me just go ahead and activate this. This is a part of the level I'm recreating right now. Now, if you look above, you can see that there is the little... Um, area above. This is the part you normally run back on. If I speed up all the way to about here, this is the section, and normally if you fall, then you have to actually play it normally. You break through here, and then you basically are to be beginning of a level. Now, one thing you have to be worried about, now, Wario actually has a really small um, jump height. He doesn't have very large legs. So, one thing I have to be worried about is Mario has much larger legs. Because, as you can clearly see, those are legs made for jumping. So, I have to be careful that you can't cheese this by jumping on the winged Koopa. Which is representing which is representing the winged, or not winged, but floating um, bandanero. So, yeah, I just have to be worried about that. I could actually move him up one. That might help. Actually, I'm, I'm going to switch to Linguini because we were Todd last time. Alright, go down here. Oh, yeah. Epic. So, also this little contraption up here. Now, in the escape section, I always have the on-off switch basically switch over and that turns some blocks on some blocks off and what that does here is if I go back here that is not the right one can I has on off block okay that's gonna go around that way if I go ahead and place an on off block here if you're back over here you can see that the spike block doesn't exist and normally this causes there to be screen lock but if we go ahead and hit this switch I hope this works. I'm not actually sure if it will. Who knows? It might. It does not. Okay. Thankfully, I have a solution. And that's called Spring. Where is a Spring? 
It's a good thing I tested this. So yeah. Normally, if you're here, it won't do anything. But if you're running back, then you start from here. You run back. Oh wait, I actually need to whack this. Perfect. Here we go. You go back over here. Okay, that still did not work. Hmm. So that's the question. How do we make this actually go the correct way? I could just put wings on this. And that hopefully will fix it. Wait, will this spawn even in a wall, though? I need to... Okay, it will. That's bad. I don't want it to spawn if it's in the wall. What if I just place it higher up? Wait, I actually want to not do that. Here we go. Yeah, that works. And where is the activation range? I should probably see that. Okay. It's not in the best place, but it should work, maybe. I don't like it, though. Can I put this on a track? Maybe. Because if we can put this on a track, then we can just... Oh, wait, never mind. Then it'll just automatically spawn. Hmm. Honestly, now the question's just... Wait, can this be put in? Yeah. No, like that's gonna help. I mean, technically I could put a wing trampoline. Nah, that still wouldn't work, because you don't know the pace that people are going to be coming back on. We could use a contraption with a b bomb. Because if we put like a b bomb here, actually, uh, not right there, but like. Oh, wait, that still won't work. Oh, I'm dumb. I can just do this. We take a blue platform, we put it underneath here, we erase these few blocks. We put the blue platform right here. We put a spring right about here. We have actual ground underneath right here and right here. And right he wait, can you still activate this? No. Incorrect. So yeah, if we do this, then hopefully. Hopefully this will work. Let me see if you are a very fast boy. I should be able to go fast enough that this goes ahead. Yeah. Well, if I put another spring here, actually. And this should still work. I'll whack off that. Nope. I can't hit the blue platform. Oh, if I put a spring here, that might work. Here we go. That works. Solutions. 
If another character was added to Mario Maker 2, who would it be? I honestly think, like, Kirby would be epic. Because then you get all the enemy power-ups as well. Forgot about that! Forgot about the twisters! How do I get rid of a spike ball? Hmm. I could literally just put a block. Or a bomb. That would work. If I put a bomb here, that then gets um, wrecked. That's on top of a muncher. No, I just need it to be a normal muncher. I can go ahead put a cloud underneath that, and then that'll go ahead. And if it's like Link's bombs, it should blow that up. I don't know. It'll either kill the bomb, or it'll just blow up. Okay, no, it just kills the bomb. Oh, this just got more annoying. Hmm. So that's the question. What can we put here that kills this? I could literally just put a twister and that should destroy it. But that also kills your speed. Swinging Claw, maybe. Would this work? Here we go. No. <laughs> Great. I want something that won't kill my speed, but it'll kill the ball. You know what, I'm just gonna put a, just a normal piece of ground at the end of this. There you go. That's the answer. Eh. Perfect. This will be way easier in the actual level because I won't have to hit the on-off block. It'll just be a normal run section. You do that. Cool. Then you're on your way back. You hit the key door and there you go. Which of the games that I... Would I like to get a sequel? Um, I have not... Wario Do It Yourself, Wario World, or Wario Land Chicken? I've not heard of Wario Do It Yourself, so I do not know about that one. I feel like Wario World, it was a pretty interesting platform. Won't say it was a great platform because I haven't really played it through. Honestly, the only one that I could see is Wario Land Shake It. Or at least the only one that I feel like has the best chance at getting it. Is Wario Land Shake It. Just because I'm kind of biased. I like the game. <laughs> that and because it's a very interesting platformer. I mean, it has all these creative themes and whatnot. Okay, this works a lot better. It's just one standard slope. I'm going to remove one of those coins. Uh, nah, I'm going to leave one there. Alright, so what's up next? So we have this. You have the coins up there. The distance between this and this are a little bit great, but I feel like that's necessary to prevent cheese. What's my favorite Paper Mario game? I would say... Probably, honestly, Super Paper Mario. Just because um, it's the one that I grew up with. Nostalgia. Oh, I do have to be careful here. here Is this high enough for them to cheese? No. Actually, yes, it is. 
Also, they have Goombrat power. Because if they go, go ahead, bring one of these Goombrats, they wait for it up here. I have to be careful to make sure they can't just... Oh, look! A level! Sure would be a shame if I just did that. That actually exists, where you can make your own micro-games? That actually sounds really interesting, not gonna lie. Alright, so, you have to go ahead and do this. Oh, this is supposed to be a two-wide gap. I need to go ahead and move that over. Alright, let me go ahead and get myself some donut blocks, and then we can go ahead and use those. Hey, Eevee does stuff. Welcome to the stream. I need donut. Also known as donut block. Alright, go ahead. Let's grab ourselves a pipe. Also, I'm not sure if I said it, but welcome to the stream, legend. I am a nice YouTuber, thank you. It means a lot. I try my best. <laughs> that was the incorrect thing to erase. Please erase that, no. Just nice and easy. How hard is it to... Oh, that's literally part of the terrain. No wonder it was so difficult. You wish me luck? Thank you. Hey, Connor, welcome to the stream. We're doing more of this. Oh, wait, I just realized. Oh, wait, no, you can't, Jesus. Because you still have... You would have to get a goom brat up. And you physically can't do that. Especially if you die to a goom brat. Yeah, even if you somehow... You can only jump up to six blocks, and with an enemy bounce, you can only jump up from that enemy's height. And because the Goombrat is so low, you'd have to get... Like, you physically cannot get enough height. Alright, that's great. What am I excited for, 2020? Honestly, not sure yet. There's just been a lot of bad stuff already in 2020. It's been like coronavirus, and then it's... All the talk about World War Three, it's all that stuff. Alright, let me go ahead. I need to make sure I get the ground right over here, because it's just a giant slope at the moment, and I don't think that's correct. Yes, there should be two giant slopes. How silly of me. <laughs> Alright. Now, I could go ahead and fill that up with ground, but I want to see what the semi-solids are, because I'm pretty sure there's a good semi-solid for it. Maybe not in this theme, though. Yeah, no. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm just going to fill this up with ground and then... Alright. find out how to make WarioWare in Mario Maker 2. I'm pretty sure someone's already done that. What, if they're in multiplayer? If they're in multiplayer, then... Oh well. <laughs> Not much I can really do. They still have to play through the level because, I mean, you have coins that you have to collect as the clear condition. So, you're not really going to be able to cheese this even if you are in multiplayer. You'll be able to cheese it a little bit, but 
Not much you can do about it. You technically could build a contraption that goes ahead and says, okay, have a um, mushroom. Or not a mushroom, you need a fire flower. Go ahead, take the fire flower, make it a progressive power up. Now the player, if it's big, if it's a multiplayer, it'll go ahead and turn into a fire flower. And if it's a mushroom, it will stay as a mushroom. Then you go ahead, you put like a note block here. That's right in front of this. That it goes ahead and drops a muncher. Then if you're playing, or you move it over one. And then if you're playing in multiplayer, now since I'm playing in single player, it'll turn into a mushroom. Oh wait, it would have to be the other way. Alright, then it drops like a POW block in order to kill the muncher. Like if there's already a muncher right here, then this POW block goes ahead. And it drops one down. Then this goes ahead and wrong. It goes ahead, does that. Except I have this semi-solid in a way, so I'd have to move this up one. Here we go. But yeah, there you go. It turns into a power block. There you go. But go. I'm not really that concerned about multiplayer, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, that's how you could prevent cheese in multiplayer. Also, I don't need any of this stuff. That's just a waste of ground tiles, and we need every ground tile we can get. Add pillars where I made the ground, because there are no pillars semi-solids, so I can't really do anything. And every piece of decoration costs um, ground tiles. And I really do have to be efficient with my ground tiles, because last time I ran out. That was not fun. Oh yeah, I actually do need to create the underground part here. Not the best place to place that pipe. I'm going to go ahead and place it in a better place. Alright. Epic. No, you're great, um, Dr. Callus Robot. I'm fine answering the question to make this more fun for me. Which would I prefer, Koopalings or 3D World items and other game styles? Probably Koopalings, because that adds a lot of possibilities and a lot of chain chances for glitches. Because think about it this way, you have Lemmy's projectiles. You can design a whole level just around the bounty properties of these wonderful projectiles. And that's one Koopaling. You have the bounty balls from Lemmy, you have the rings from Wendy that are so unpredictable. Like, you seriously have a lot of possibilities with things like that. I'd say Koopalings are... would be amazing. Not to mention that they're just great boss fights on their own. Do I currently have a job? This is my job. Only one problem, it doesn't pay at all. Literally, I have not made a single dollar off YouTube. Alright, that's a 30 coin. I need to go ahead and construct a wall over here. I do want to extend this wall, though. What do I want Mario Maker to style? If I was to ask for one Mario Maker style... I don't know. I'd say Galaxy. 
And the reason for that is just because Galaxy has a lot of potential and I don't feel like it would be too difficult to add. Like, you don't even have to add the spin mechanic. You already have things like the Fire Flower power up in there. You already have things like... You already have stuff like that. Really, the only thing you'd have to add is some gravity physics. Odyssey, on the other hand, you have to add Cappy. Here we go. And that's, like, extremely difficult to add a style. Oh, wait, I don't want this. I want to conserve ground tiles. Alright. Oh yeah, they they do have the different functionalities in the different games. Alright, so that should be good enough. Let me see, if I go ahead and re-enter this room... Okay, I do like that cam- no. That camera does not work. Go ahead and remove one of those. Technically, I can remove two, but... I like to have double bordered um, screen stops. I think it looks nicer. Alright, let's see. Does this work? Yes. That is very epic. Alright, let's go ahead and add a background. Also, I'm sorry if this hurts your eyes to have two different semi-solids like this. Oh wait, never mind. I don't even need to add another semi-solid. I can just drag this one down. Here we go. And there you go. Nice little room for the full body goggles. Then we have the little... I'm gonna add one more platform. Just so that way I can do this, because I want to. I'm gonna go ahead and add a semi-solid here. Bed drops down. Then have a semi-solid here. Yeah, that works a lot better. I mean, the one thing about Mario Galaxy style is it would probably have better physics than the, the actual game. Or more realistic physics than the actual game. This was made by the um, broken Mario Galaxy physics people. I don't know. Alright. Don't click that. Click there we go. Alright, so what do I need to do? I need to go ahead... Make this extend down here. About two over, I go ahead... Add a roof... That is starts from about there. Actually, this should be one more up. Thank you. And I'll make this go over by five. Alright. It's Green Wario, yes. Yeah, Mario 64. That's the question. Which 3D Mario game is the least broken. And the sad thing is it's probably 3D Land, a game on the 3DS. A literal handheld has the least broken 3D Mario game. Because Mario 64, you got the backwards long jump, and tons of clipping, you have memory addresses. Mario Sunshine, you don't even have to try for the glitches there, sometimes they just happen. Oh, you're jumping onto a platform? Now you're jumping through it. I mean, I literally made... Even before the channel was created, 
um, after I created the channel, I actually uploaded a video on it, but I actually decided just messing around in for Mario Sunshine, and I just end up clipping inside of a golden chomp. It was just like, okay, that happened. <laughs> Mario Galaxy, you obviously have physics, and literally just recently, um, Purple Sun discovered, or the task community just discovered that, um, you know the Lava Spire in um, the Molten Galaxy? Yeah, now, now in that level, apparently you can just clip inside of it. Just by falling into crystals. Also, um, crystals... Um, are very interesting in Mario Galaxy now, to say the least. Alright, this is where I'll make the level border. But yeah, crystals now, um, what does it say about them? Well, maybe I'll talk about how you can literally, just by sliding off them in the right way, you just hover ominously, just f start floating. <laughs> It's over, level. I have the high ground. How are you flying? Yeah, it's it's broken. Mario Galaxy 2 with Yoshi, yep. Definitely got some broken stuff with the infinite flutter. I don't think it's too incredibly broken, per se. It's a pretty solid game. Infinite fluttering is definitely not normal, but I don't think it's too incredibly broken. Then again, the gravity calculations definitely are. I can say with full confidence that those definitely are not how video games work. Yep, nine captures in Mario Odyssey. Uh, Mario 3D Land I've, and 3D World truthfully don't have too many glitches. 3D World I think has a couple of extra ones, but there's really not that much that's famously broken in 3D World. Especially not in 3D Land. There's almost nothing in 3D Land as far as I know. I could be wrong though. Odyssey on the other hand, like you said, uh, mine captures by literally clipping inside 90% of objects. Oh, that's a nice wall you got there. Sure would be a shame if I, um, Ground pound, cra ground pound, cat cancel, uh, roll directly into the said wall. All right, let me go ahead put some goombas right here. Ah, oh, I already put in the semi solid. That means I have to do everything. Actually, you know what? Just for the aesthetic, I'm gonna use goombrats. It's for no particular reason. It's just because I can. Oh, uh, we have to use a green pipe. I'm not that bad. I'm not that mad at it, though. Alright, let's see. Why are these guys just floating? Please go on the ground. Here we go. Yeah. This is a very simple section of a level. You gotta go ahead and bounce on the Goombrats in order to get up here, or, you know, just regular jump. You have this little section where you go down the pipe. Now, the only good thing about Odyssey, well, good in quotation marks, is because it's on Switch, it's still getting updated. So a lot of the glitches do get fixed. Truthfully, I think glitches add to the fun, but I understand why Nintendo patches them. In my personal opinion, though, Nintendo should go ahead and make a non a patched and a non-patched version. You can have either one on your Switch. Like, yeah, you have some glitches in it, but for a lot of people, that's a lot of fun, and it allows for really cool speedruns. I'm going to go ahead and extend the level boundary. This is actually a surprisingly short level. I was expecting it to be way longer. All it really has left is this one screen. Only problem is this one screen is extremely long. And it does have a lot of vertical height. 
So I do have to be careful of that. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and put it there. This is how low we're starting. Actually, how does it have any height deviations? So we have this little height change up here. Also, I'm sure I'm probably triggering someone, so I'm going to move this over a tad. Alright, so we're going to go ahead. We have this little upward segment. I'll probably replace that with donut blocks. We have a giant coin bag up there. Shovel Knight, I have not played. Rayman, I have, but like once. Shantae, I have not. Undertale, I have. I have not beaten the genocide ending. Banjo Kazooie, I played when I was really young and I still have. Any of a Rabbids game, I did play the one on 3DS and I do. And I have played Kingdom Battle. I have Rayman Legends, I think. I think that's the one for Wii U. But I just haven't played it almost at all. Oh, wait. Mm, we do have that little thing down there. So we have that little divot. I'm going to go ahead and move this up a little bit then. So let's see how big that divot is. And then we'll go ahead and... That was not supposed to happen. Please. Okay. Ah, yes. Rooms to go. I am so happy that this exists. Definitely. Okay. So, yeah. We have this little section. Now, this section we're actually going to make pretty high up. We're going to make it pretty small because we do need a lot of vertical height in this section. Like, not even joking. Ugh. I don't want to make a naked pipe, so I'm not. Like, normally I make these max fastosity dasherators a star cannon. Where it goes ahead and shoots out a star. I'm still going to do that. But that one's not against a wall, so it, it would be a naked pipe. And I don't like those. So it's just going to be up against the wall. Just so it looks cleaner. Also, it allows us to condense it a little bit. Uh, does it really? No. Well, I don't really care, so we're just going to do it anyway. There's five modes? I knew there was, like... Um, I know there's Shovel Knight... Plague Knight and Dark Knight, I'm pretty sure. Didn't over that many, though. Alright, so this needs to be like this, and then I can make. Decisions, decisions on how high it needs to be. Do I have Roblox? Maybe. What was that noise, Luigi? Okay, now he's not making it. Alright, so that's going to be like that. Alright, so this is the ground level. All right, that's great. We've almost lost half the screen already. All right, go back. We're going to seriously screen crunch this. Hey, Catman, welcome to the stream. This is seriously difficult to see. Uh, 
Oh, Dark Knight is Specter Knight. And they added King Knight. Cool. Because I remember seeing um, Plague Knight and Specter Knight as... Um, who did it? I remember someone beat it like Specter Knight or Plague Knight without bombs and Shovel Knight without the shovel. Oh yeah, it was skipped the tutorial. That was who did it. One thing I do know about Shovel Knight is I've heard a lot of good things about it. The one really good thing about it is the music. Because I know that the music I added to just shapes and beats. Don't have it, but I know that it got added. Oh, I can make a Goombrat as a, like a stepping stone upwards. Actually, I'm just going to see how much space this takes up. Maybe not. I'm going to go ahead and put some vertical crunch on there. Oh wait, I need to make these hard blocks and then I can go ahead and make it so that way you have to bounce off the goom bread in order to actually get it up there. Go ahead, grab myself a muncher. We can go ahead and put that underneath the goom brat. Go ahead, grab ourselves a cloud block. Put that underneath the muncher. Here we go. There we go. Now I can still jump up from here, but... You can't reach it from there. So you have to bounce off. I said you have to bounce off the Goombrat in order to actually get up here. There we go. That way it still has some semblance of a challenge. So go ahead, create a four coin there. Go ahead, make this make a wall here. Not sure how high it up how high up it goes, but there is a ceiling, I know that much. There it is. So I can go ahead go up here, make this a ceiling. I don't know how wide the ceiling is. Maybe I could see more of it from up here when I go grab this giant money bag. No. Maybe I could see by the ricocheting. It looks like it's basically up here. So I'm just going to leave it like this. You think it's unfair to rank games in top 10s? Yes, but people will do it anyways. Okay, for this one, I'm actually going to make this a donut block because you're supposed to be able to go down this ladder. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to make this still a semi-solid because I always make these semi-solids. Alright. And then I'm also going to go ahead add on a vine. Epic. Go over here. Make this a drop down. Oh, I'm way too close. Thankfully, I can go ahead and just take this. And just uh, move this over a little bit. You know what? I'll just put it all the way over here. And then when I need it, I'll come back to it. Alright, go ahead and take this. You just saw the Sonic movie today? I have not seen it. 
I hope it's better than the first trailer. I think anything's better than the first trailer, though. But no, in, uh, in all actuality, I did see the redesign, and I think it looks pretty good. I want to see it. I can only assume the story's pretty weak, though. Not sure how much I need to use that for. Also, I need something to represent the checkpoint. Oh, I know what I can use. I can just use, like, a life. Go ahead, grab a 1-up. Go ahead, grab myself a checkpoint. Or not a checkpoint. We physically can't use the checkpoint here because we have the clear condition, by the way. It was good in a strange way. I'll have to check it out. Alright, so now we go ahead. Put this here. I feel like the only thing that can really represent this is a stack of donut blocks. Because, I mean, there isn't really much else that you can do. Alright, let's go ahead grab ourselves a... What type of coin? We need a 50 coin for a giant money bag. Go over here. And I know there is a ceiling here. I'm not sure how high up it is, though. So as for now, I'm just going to leave this like this tall. Also, this is the top of the screen. We are running out of room. Just so you know. <laughs> I really shouldn't have laughed at that, Dr. Callus. But I did. Alright, let me see. So, we have something over here. It's like right here, maybe ish? I think it's like over here. This is where it gets complicated. Now we're running into the sort of a screen crunch as well, so that's great. Alright, so let's see. Um, over a couple, like, right here is this. Let me go ahead and grab myself a FWAMP. Just a nice little FWAMP. Here we go. Now we need ourselves a Koopa. We're going to go ahead and make him flying. Uh, I want to put him directly on top of this, but I can't. Oh well. Alright. Right up here, we have this. So we have it one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go all the way up. It's a risky maneuver, but I feel like it's worth it. Alright. Alright. So now we have this little piece of ceiling right over here. I assume that this is the other ceiling to this. Okay. Then this connects to this. I can go ahead and make that a curve. I'll leave this as broken. Then we have ourselves a 30 coin right up here. Alright, I think that works. Maybe. All 
All right, then we have this over here, which is more ground. Great. Honestly, the screen crunch isn't as bad as what I thought it would be. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, very tight. It's still sort of tight, but it's not as bad. It's nowhere as bad as what I thought it was going to be. You know, I'll make you so you have to get close to the flump. Alright, let's see. You go ahead, go over here, shake the coins out. Alright, and how far out does this platform go? Pretty far out. I say like that far. Alright. And then you have it like here. Ah, uh, now here we can go ahead and put the blocks. Where are they? There's the dotted line blocks. So you have this, like, five blocks over. One, two, three, four, five. And then over here you have four red blocks. Yeah. That feels about right. Oh, also, I forgot this. I need some dotted line blocks on the other side, right about here. This actually seems like it's going to work pretty well. Oh, I just realized something. I'm going to go ahead and save this really quickly. But I just realized something about uh, level 1. I'm not sure if I missed this completely or not. Here we go. I think I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. I was concerned that you could hit the on off block and then head backwards. Nope, you can't. Alright. Crisis diverted. Maybe a little less safe, but. Yeah. I mean, if I don't like something, I just won't respond to it. Unless it's like spam, and then I will respond to it and probably um, tell you to stop. I mean, my channel isn't made for kids. I, I mean, I don't talk about, I don't talk about the really insensitive stuff that would get me demonetized. But I don't know. Kappa is garbage. Let's put it that way. Oh, wait, technically you can go back if you hit the on-off block and then you hit it again. Not like it's going to help you. You can only go back, like, one screen. Plus, the enemies are going to respawn. Okay. Hey, SPG64, welcome to the stream. Alright, so then we go ahead, we have some coins over here. How many coins do we have? We have one, two, three, four, and then a ten coin. Or a fifty coin. I'm gonna make this a fifty coin because it's a diamond. And I feel like that's fitting. We have a couple of spaces and then we have some donut blocks. Or breakable blocks. How many breakable we have three. Okay. So we're pretty much spot on. All 
I want to spread these out a little bit. Okay. I'll go ahead and spread this out to this. Cool. I do have a Discord server. It's in my about page. I need to come up with a saying just to be like, tell people it's in the about page. In the, in, in the about page, man. Speaking is difficult. Alright, go ahead, fill in the ground. And now for one of the biggest problems. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the normal level first. And then I'll go ahead and fill in the, le the enemies. So you got that, and then you have a lot. You have a little bit of a ledge. And then you have this. All right, we should be good. If my calculations are correct, we should be okie dokie. We do need ourselves a pipe here, though. Alright, go ahead and hit this. Here we go. Do I get trapped here? No. I don't even think I need to do that. I can just literally make it like this. And there's no way that I get trapped. Because I don't want it to be a soft walk. Yeah, okay. And there's no way you can get past all this. Even if you go up here, this is a one-way stop. Okay, we're good. Um, we have not gotten any new moderators. At least I do not believe so. <laughs> if somehow we did, I don't know how. And that's a problem. As of right now, the only moderator is Purple Sun. Alright, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and open that up so I can go ahead and put this down here. put that there. Put that there. And there we go. I don't even need that. I can just go ahead and put that there. Put that there. I have to be careful so I don't overflow the level with too many semi-solids. But it's not that big of a deal. Or not even the level, it's just this one section. Right, I'm going to go back here. Oh wow, basically no one is watching. Wonderful. Then again, I don't blame them. I mean, it's just level creation. Not the most interesting thing on the planet. I don't want that to be too high up. Actually, I do. I want this to be like... I want this to be like right here for this one, and I want it to be like right here for this part. I want this to be here. That's a two. I can't really do anything with that. It looks off, though. Whatever. I don't even need a new one. I can just literally stretch this one out. That looks even worse. Here we go. 
wrong button. I want to go ahead and add another part to here. Alright. Hey, Matthew. Welcome to the stream. Okay, go ahead and add this. And that should be pretty much everything. Except for the very top. There's not much we can do for that. It's supposed to have a semi solid up across the top, but I guess I could put this here. I mean, if you go up top, you can just walk off. Alright. And that should actually be pretty much it for this level. Let me go ahead and place this exit pipe right about here. I think I might be missing some enemies, but let's... Yeah, I am. I know where I'm missing an enemy. It's right over here. I'm missing it in this section. It's back here. Yeah. So you have this Goomba that's right over here. Alright, go ahead, put him right about here. It's not like anyone's gonna die to him. Here we go. Alright. Oh yeah, just switch your tablet. Alright. So we should be pretty much good, I think. Maybe. Oh, we need a Goombrat right here. And yeah, he's not supposed to move, but I think it should be fine. And then the escape section we've already handled. And here we go. Let's upload this one. We have to beat it before uploading. And yes, I'm leaving Wario in that um, position in the bottom right corner. I should probably have checked to make sure it's a good amount of time, but I'll see in this clear check. I have no doubts but this is enough time. It's a pretty simple level, if I do so, so myself. Go ahead, do that. Honestly, one thing I didn't mention is the music actually fits in this beam for the level. I think it's probably one of the most fitting music tracks that you could have had. Alright, go over here, go down the pipe, then we go ahead, grab ourselves a 30 coin, we're 102 coins out of the way, there we go, bounce off that, go off that goom brat. We can go through here, grab a 50 coin. We have another Goombrat over there. Honestly, it works as a pretty nice traditional stage if I, did, if I do say so myself. Alright. And we should be pretty much good. 
Hey, Mr. Tipos, welcome to the stream. You love Wario Land? It's one of the best games. I actually really like it as well. That is why I'm making a game about it. Or why I'm making this level on it. And there we go. Oh. Forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot to add in the key. That's kind of important. Yeah, kind of need that. Also, an ending to the level would be nice. Which I'll, I'll go ahead and do now. Forgot about that. Hey, Abba, welcome to the stream. Give me this. I'm going to go ahead and just make it a nice little ending. Why not? I can go ahead put that there can I put a slope like down here no okay that makes me sad but okay I'm gonna go ahead fill this in with ground Might as well. We have a lot of extra space in this one. Like, we have an absolute ton of space. Alright, we can go ahead. Put this over here. Fill this entire room up. I can go ahead, copy a, a giant chunk. Just start copying that over. I actually have to lean over in order to see this. Go ahead, get a larger chunk. I think there's a chunk missing. Hopefully not anymore. Yeah, it looks good to me now. Alright, go ahead, put that over there. And just go ahead and take another giant chunk. Fill this whole area up. And there we go. That should be nice. Where is it? Oh, it must be like right here. Yeah, that's where it is. No need to take up extra space. I'm going to go ahead and just remove all of this. Incorrect. Bop. We go ahead and do that. Because when we're over here, you're not going to see any of that. You're just going to exit out of a door. Or not, I guess. Forgot about that, that you could also not have everything. We're going to go ahead and put ourselves a spring. Yeah. 
Alright, and we should be good. Let's go ahead and see. Will this work as an ending? No. This needs to be a little bit shorter. Here we go. Hey, Pez, welcome back. We're just going ahead and recreating the ending. We should be good. There we go. Let's go ahead, take a look at this, and then we can go ahead, save, and upload. Nice. What did you miss? We finished up the level, and now we're going to go ahead and upload it. We can go ahead, go over here, grab these coins. I could honestly replace those with Goombrats. If I... You know what, I'm going to do that. Just because I feel like it goes better. Just being honest. Oh, and that means I can also replace that, actually. Because a Goombrat would also let you, if you go ahead, bounce off the Goombrat. Bam. Now you'd be able to get up there. And I feel like it's a little less obnoxious than a twister. Is watch this. You can go ahead... You want to get up there to grab the coins, and you aren't bad at video games? Incredible. Now you can bounce off the Goombrat to get it. So, I think I'm just going to leave it as Goombrat instead. And that also means I don't have to worry about this as much. Because if you go ahead and do this... Also, I need to make... I need to actually add in the kill switch. I need to stop forgetting that, because that's kind of important. I'm going to make it a Goombrat this time. Just because I can. Go ahead, add in a kill switch. A.K.A. this red block. Or blue block, actually. I need it to be unsolid. Become solid. I need to give the Goombrat the key. I'm going to go ahead and put a semi-solid behind him. Not like it matters, but why not? All right. Can I show you a level? Sure. I'm not really doing viewer levels, but sure, I'll give it a shot, maybe. All right, so if I'm here, I go ahead. Grab the key. Give me star. And now if I come through here... Make sure I grab all these coins. And there you go. It's bad, don't worry. My levels are probably worse, at least some of them. Alright, now I think the level's actually ready. Alright, 279 coins. Oh, I forgot to put a semi-solid. Oh well, I don't really care about on the ending I'm talking about. I don't think it really matters, though. I am a genius. <laughs> Wario thing is on screen. Yeah, that exists. There's no reason it does. It just does. And that's the only reason it needs.
You know, I'm actually going to shrink that down a little bit. It doesn't need to be too big, actually. The code, all right. Right, grab these. Oh wait, sorry. Ah. This actually is a somewhat traditional level, which is surprising. Like, it feels like a level that came out of Mario Maker. I don't know. Eh, don't get hit. Alright, that should be good. Nice and epic. It's very tight platforming. Well, not very tight, but somewhat tight. Nice. Alright, go down here. I feel like this would be a fun course to speedrun. I feel like a lot of these are fun to speedrun. Now, if you actually fail this section, you can always go into the pipe to reset it. for the Koopa. Go there. Run back. Nice. How fast can you go? Pretty fast, honestly. You go through there, and there you go. That's one dash one for you. Honestly, I don't think it's that bad of a level. Now I actually have to remember what to call it. What's my original course description? Let me pull it up. Give me a moment. Because I don't want to like... I want to have something consistent. Almost had sound, okay. So what did I call it? Please load. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I called it the name. Alright, I just said basically. So this one would be... Alright. 
Do I know Nathaniel Bandy? Yes, I've done a collaboration with him. What was this level called? Why can I not remember? Oh yeah, Stone Carving City with every car... Stone Carving City with every coin. I will say, Nathaniel Bandy's a nice guy. Uh, do you think you would help me with the 3D World thing? Probably not. I I don't use Parsec, or at least I don't have it right now. Plus, I'd have to get a 3D World on emulator, and then I'd have to play through the entire game till that point. Plus, it still has lag in the end, so not sure how worth it'll be. All right, standard themed All right, and there's the um course ID if you want to try it out. Speaking of try it out, let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and try out that level. Not saying I'll complete it. I'll try it out though. Also, let's see. Uploaded courses. How many people have beaten the first level? It has 1 out of 17 clears in it with a 4-minute world record. How? This isn't a hard level. This is a hard level. This is a hard level. Then again, those have 0% clear rates. Why does this only have 6.25? If it says 0 so many of my levels have so low clear rates, and then you have ones that are just Unamas little levels. Speaking of which, I, sh I need to upload one of those, but that'll be later. Alright, so let's see. The code, it's JW... JW... Five, seven... Seven one S and then it is T N F. Alright. Let's see. Happy family. This sounds like a very fun level. I'm sure there's nothing bad in it. I mean it has a twenty percent clear rate, which is better than most of my levels. Okay, Fire Flower. I will take that. Thank you very much. Can't go in the pipe. Run! Run! Okay. Easy level. Alright. Epic. I guess. Sure. What's my Maker ID? Maker ID is this. I don't know where it is on this, but I know it's somewhere. Ah, it's in the bottom left corner of this. Ah, alarm. All right. So if that 
Why is there a Wario in the bottom right corner? Because that's my playlist. In fact, we're going to go ahead and move it on to the next part. Because now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to reset. Three, two, As our next level is Whoopsie Desert. Now, okay, Whoopsie Desert, we have a problem. Also, hey, AM, AMGG, welcome to the stream. So, here's the problem. This is Whoopsie Desert. Only, pr the problem with it is, there's a secret level. That's called Disturbing Tomb. Disturbing Tomb has a purple color scheme. Like, for this one, any of the desert themes work. Like, it's literally just giving you the desert theme. Even Mario Free, this desert theme looks just as well. Then you have the Super Mario World desert theme. Also works perfectly well. Probably not actually as well, but still, it works decently. The Super Mario Bros. U style, wonderfully. And then you have the Mario 3D World style, also beautifully. The problem is, none of these are purple. Oh, you do hacking? Um, SP64? SPG64? That is epic. Purple semi-solid? Alright, see ya, Abba. Thanks for joining in. Let me actually go ahead and pull up the level... Ah yes, Grammarly. I've never seen that one before. Wait, nope, wrong video. This is the correct video. If it will load. If you go into the vertical sub area in Super Mario Bros. 1, yeah. Here's the problem though. You get yourself this, which is all this dark blue and purple. And then you have the outside theme, which has two problems. One, oh wait, no, this is a montage because I failed this over and over again because it's an extremely tricky jump. Also, I'm gonna have to recreate that. How I'm going to recreate it, who knows? I'll probably just put like a thwomp that you can jump into with the invincibility star so you have to run back with it. But yeah, you have all this section. Oh yeah, bomb blocks. That's going to be fun. Where do I actually go outside? There. I should be outside by now. There we go. This is what the outside theme looks like. And we also have to find some way to recreate stinking sand. So, what theme represents this? Because I want to use the same game style in the other theme. My actual idea actually is, what about the underground theme from Mario 3D World? Because I thought about this style actually quite a bit. Because here... We have purple bricks that we can use. So you could represent like this area. It's this. You have yourself a blue pipe sticking out of the ground. Maybe to represent the sands. Not sands, but sands. Something like this. I feel like that could represent it. Um, technically, I have sung the alphabet in this entire stream. You just have to rearrange it in the right way. But yeah, I feel like that's my idea. 
another thing is, I want to see what does. Okay, they're brown in the desert theme. What color are they in each theme? Ground theme, they're of course brown. Obviously. Sky, also brown, probably. Yeah. Underground or purple? I could have sworn they were purple in jungle as well. Yeah. Underwater, they're brown. Ghost house, they're brown as well. Desert or ground or brown. Airship. Okay, airship is the other thing. Because could we use airship in 3D World theme as the level? Honestly, the background doesn't look too bad because it sort of represents the haze in the back. Honestly? That's what I think I could do. What do you guys think? I go ahead and create Disturbing Tomb in the airship theme, and then I can represent the underground with the underground theme in purple blocks. Like if I go here, you have the sinking sand as represented by pipes. So you have this represented as pipes, and then once you go down into the sands, you have yourself a vertically oriented sub-area that then goes ahead and is represented by these purple bricks. Oh wait, no, I just need to switch the sub-area type to underground. Because this can represent... Like, if I go f farther into the level. You have underground spots that are like this. This is not a challenge. This is just something so that way I don't waste camera space. I think this could work. Only thing is, I kind of want to use the hammer suit. Only thing I have to wonder is, if I put a coin in here. Give me coin. Also, I want to ping that. If I go ahead and put a... Uh, wait, I can't even use a coin. What can I put in here? Because if I have it like this, the only problem is you can break through all this. So how do I stop the player from breaking through the stage? Hmm. Well, I could just not give him a power-up. Except the invincibility. So yeah, that could work. Alright, that's what I think I'm going to do. But we're not on this level. We're on Whoopsie Desert. Alright. So, obviously we're going to use the desert theme for this. Use bedrock. Sure, that exists now. Because you've willed it to exist. No, go back. Step. Step. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, we have a problem. If we don't have a way... We don't have uh, dotted line blocks, and that's a problem. Oh, I know what we can use. We could possibly use a snake block. And then we can just go ahead, make this a green pipe. Let me go ahead. And there we go. That's the solution. <laughs> Improvise, adapt, and overcome. So now when you actually exit the pipe, you just fall down. Oh, speaking of getting lag, hopefully that's going away. Or hopefully there is absolutely like no or almost no buffering because I decided to switch my rendering software. Or not rendering, but my streaming software from low buffering to low latency. So hoping, hopefully that's helping the stream. The one blocks that you ground pound. I'm not sure what you're referring to. <laughs> also, I just realized we're gonna... The semi-solids are really annoying in this... Because you can't put them through objects. Uh, I'm not going to be able to use semi-solids almost at all. I legitimately think I can't even use them at all. Oh, the exclamation blocks. Maybe. Like, the, basically the only time I can use a semi-solid is, like, over here. I can't even put it here, because then you can't come down. Well, you can, but... Eh. I think I'm just going to stick to no semi-solids. Alright, so we have this, and we start this little overhang. Ah, so now- oh no, we don't have those! Oh well. Nothing we can do about it now. Uh, there's so much missing in 3D World. I forgot it was this bad. Oh, nice. World 1 and World 5? Nice. Oh, 
All right, so what do we have? We have abandoned Yarrow there. Where did he come from, though? I'll just put him there. Why not? You know what? I'll replace the uh, bomb blocks with hard blocks. Why not? They look somewhat similar. Actually, oh great, we have more slope fun. Can I have a video to look at all the time? Yeah, I don't have a level template though. So, this is the best I got. Like, if I had a template, wonderful, but I don't. So, this is we're what we're going with. <laughs> the true question is, what are we going to do here? Because we got ourselves a like, Paracoupa, obviously. So we're going to make it so you have to, like, bounce off said Paracoupa. Alright, and then up here we have... We have some crates... I'm actually just going to replace the crates with more crates. I'm a genius. Then on top of that, we have ourselves a large coin. Did not mean to go in there. Please give me coin. I need a giant coin, please. This is a 50 coin. <laughs> anyone got a level template? I don't think anyone does because it's somewhat a not very big game. This is a somewhat difficult jump, but can't let them all be easy levels. Now, for these pyramids, I think I'm just going to have them in their normal upward position because not really a way we could shake them open. So, yeah, these will just be permanently open. I think they should be steep slopes, though, not gentle. Yeah, I'll make them like four blocks tall. Alright. Nice and easy. I feel like this looks off. Probably be this off.
I wish there was a better way to do this, but there really isn't. We have ourselves another Goomba up here. We can't even stack enemies to hold them in place. Ah, yes, and we have coins over here. I'll put like three coins. Actually, I'll put, like, a larger one up here. Yes, that should work. I feel like that should work. Maybe not well, but it will work. Alright. So now we got ourselves another problem. How do we represent these bomb blocks as we're supposed to blow them up? Oh, I just got an idea. What if instead of Goombas in this level, what if they were spikes? Because now, I believe it might be, I might have to make it a giant spike, but I think, no, I'm sure that Spike can go ahead and break these wonderful blocks with um, Spike Balls. Yeah, all these levels have a coin requirement, because this is supposed to mimic my all-coin challenge. I'm going to go ahead and add that in now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Alright, time for Spike to be Big Spike. Which also means I'm going to go ahead and change this to this for coins. If you kill Spike, you're a monster and you shouldn't be able to finish the level anyway. So yeah, I don't feel bad for making S Spike a requirement. If you're that much of a horrible person to kill Spike, you deserve not to finish the level. That should be a quote. Hey, welcome back, Dr. Callus. Alright, let me go ahead put that. And then we can go ahead and make ourselves a pipe. Excuse me. I have not had that happen. Because. Alright. Only those two need to be that much. These need to be like this tall. Yeah, I'll just fill it in. Why not? So yeah, I honestly feel like this is going to work better. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this section, of course, can be cheesed with this. Well, not really cheesed. There isn't really an intended way to do this. Wee! Oh wait, we have to kill Spike for the coins. 
I am sorry, Spike. Oh well. So now we get into this section. I'll make this a vertical sub area. The reason we're gonna make it a vertical sub area is because not in this section. Well, yeah, because of this section somewhat. But also because of uh, this section, not this one, not this one, this one, as well. And there's also one more of this section. Yeah, definitely needs it. You think the 50 coin with the boxes can be cheesed from the right? Probably. There isn't really a correct way to do it, honestly. I mean, the fact that you can wall jump can cheese basically everything. Which also opens up the question, how in the world are we going to do the cannons? How? Like, at all? Is there even a theoretical way we can do the cannons? So we have steps down here. Do I need to place the pipe, like, right here? I think I'm just going to make it, like, twisters, honestly. I feel like that's the best way to deal with it. Also, let me cheese. Can't this be cheese? Yeah. Oh, well. I'm honestly fine with that. Because one, the spike can kill the paratrooper anyway. So, honestly, I'm fine with that. Springs and note blocks. Honestly, note blocks sounds like a pretty good idea. Oh no, we don't have semi solid donuts here. Oh well, brick blocks just aren't going to exist now. Imagine existing. This was made by. All of the brick blocks in this level that are not going to exist. Like, I would love to let them exist, but on the other hand... I could make it, so you have to play for this level differently. I mean, I am taking some creative liberties anyway. Like, a lot of creative liberties. So that's step one. There's five steps. So you have one, two, three, four. I need to move this up one more. I'm going to move it up two more, actually. Three more. Just to be safe. We don't have one ways. This is 3D world. Yeah, they literally removed one ways in the 3D world game style. Yeah, we're going to change the way this level is played. Alright. Oh wow, it is 9.30. Alright. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make this the ground. Epic. How much of this we're gonna use, who knows. So, what I think we can do, for one, we're going to go ahead and put ourselves a little Goomba friend down here. 
because he deserves a friend. Actually, no, we're, pla we're replacing all the abandoned arrows with spikes. Because I feel like it fits better with the level. We can replace the cannons with note blocks, I guess. Wait. Oh yeah, I forgot. Note blocks don't exist here. And I don't want to give the player a spring. Twisters it is! Plus, it should mimic how dumb the plaf the cannons are in um, Wario Land. Even though they're not really dumb. In fact, they were actually really good. I just... Alright. The cannons in Mario... Or in Wario Land Shake It, if you press and held the button, you could hold the shot. And then... Wrote, and then you could actually hit one to stop being in the fire idea. Wait, can Spike kill um, Twisters? Oh yeah, I forgot. Twister beats Spike. Yeah, Twister is okie dokie. Spike blocks to prevent wall jumping. Actually, I think I'm going to make it so you have to wall jump. Because here what I'm going to have is... How high do I want this? This is like four blocks high. So I'll go ahead. One, two, three, four. Right about here. Also, how far does a camera scroll? I need to know that. Alright, so I need to put like one more block over. I'm gonna put two just to be safe. Alright. But yeah, so here we're gonna have ourselves a nice little passageway up, obviously. Oh wait, that's in the middle. Alright, so this needs to be like four wide. Sure, that that's good enough. Then that goes over till here before going up. Okay. put the twister inside of a hole for it to be in? No. It must be free to make it more difficult. I guess you could call this level a real difficulty spike. I hate this. <laughs> oh wait, no. This needs to be a regular brick block. You know what, actually, I'm going to make it a regular brick block. How many blocks tall is it, though? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like ten. I'm going to go ahead and slow this down, just so that way I can see how many blocks there are. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think. Maybe nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's ten, yeah. That means this needs to be twenty blocks. So that's four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a wonderful use of our brick blocks. If that's 20, that's times 4. That's already 80 out of the 2,000 that we have. Actually, I think it might be too difficult. So yeah, I'm going to put the twister in the hole. Just because I don't want it to be too incredibly difficult. Alright. Here we go. He will never be free. No. Never. He will never be free. Okay, I can speed this back up. This top row doesn't exist. It's just cloud blocks because we don't have good semi-solids. We have technical semi-solids, but they're just bad. So we're not going to use them. This needs to be up one. Correct. Yes, it's Wario Maker. <laughs> Wario's the number one. Well, I just realized something unfortunate. Yeah, there's brick blocks on this side as well. And a blue block? Weird, but okay. Okay, so technically those should be brick blocks. But that would require me to give the player a mushroom. And do I really want to do that? Because giving the player a mushroom gives them a lot of power. Oh, I'm, I have an idea. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I'll, I have an idea. It won't work if I have the spikes here. Oh, yes, it will work if I have the spikes here. Why is this only a f thing by free? Not anymore. Alright, so if I go ahead... Keep on extending this up. We're going to go ahead and put up a bomb in here. So that way, if you go ahead, bounce up here. It goes ahead and blows up right here. It blows up too far away. What if I have this twister here? Probably won't help. Oh, yes, it will help. Because... I'm going to have these spikes over here. here we go. 
and these spikes will throw their spike balls, and they land in the absolute worst position. Great. Perfect. No, that's a point. They're supposed to wall jump up to the left for the for victory because these are impassable. Because normally I'd use donut blocks, except the donut blocks here are impassable anyways. I need to make one of these a giant spike. And I believe that should work. Yes! This is getting very technical very quickly. Alright, have a great day, William. I will stay positive. How much space have we used up already? About two screens. I'm pretty sure... Oh, wow. We are really using this area up fast. Thankfully, we only have to fit three areas in here. So I'm not too worried. I'm a little worried, but not too extremely worried. Also, uh... Congratulations to Spike for finally getting 2,000 subscribers. He deserved it. Alright, so this is like three blocks wide. I'm a little off. There. That should work ish, possibly. This is really dumb and complicated. Also, we need a some way to make sure that it doesn't actually work if you're in the other way. Hmm. No, that would be bad. Honestly, I don't care. If you somehow make it back here, who cares by that point? Congratulations, you made it back. I'm going to go ahead and recreate this section first. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Who's ready to... Who's ready to count more of these breakable bricks? I know I am. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe it's seven. I could be wrong, though. Although I believe I am possibly right. Alright, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 12 screens to work with. We've used about... What? 1, 2, 3 screens so far. I'm not that worried about running out of room. I'm a little worried, but not that worried.
So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we need one more layer. And that'll be good. Oh, I know what I can do. Up here, I can go ahead and make this a ledge. And on said ledge, I can put a giant spike. And this giant spike goes ahead and throws a spike ball. That then goes ahead and breaks through everything directly downwards. I am a genius without even knowing it. I say, well, knowing this was just dumb luck. <laughs> But yeah, this actually works, and I'm scared, because it does. Alright, go ahead, do that. Hey, Trio, welcome back. So we have it, so you have to go ahead, you jump your way up here. So you go ahead, jump your way up here. You're able to go a little bit to the right. Then this giant spike ball comes down and breaks everything. And then you're able to make your way up. Ah. Alright, go ahead, do this. And here we go. We should be good. And also, this is one area. I can go ahead and just go like this. This should work. If I did my math that I didn't do correctly, it should work. Theoretically. Here we go. So you go ahead, go over here. You can't get far enough. You could get just barely far enough. So then you have to make sure it actually works. Honestly, I feel like this works well. Again? Let me up. Throw another one. Okay. It's getting stopped on this one little slope. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And make it like a normal slope. Let me see. Will that work? It did not work. I'll make those smoother. Oh yeah, it's President's Day tomorrow.
It works, guys. It works. You know what? I have an idea. In order to make this better, if you don't hit the block, I'll make it so you have this. Because the track blocks actually get deactivated if you don't have them. Oh, wait. Is that in the way? No, it is not. Alright. Warrior Weird Game on the Switch. Hopefully. Maybe someday. Okay, this is a little bit confusing, though, so I will leave an arrow. Wait here. <laughs> Fifty coin there. Do it on 3DS for Wario? No. I don't have the WarioWare on the 3DS. Honestly, I hope they make a Wario Land Shake It on Switch or some sort of sequel to this because this is like a really interesting art style that I feel like is really unexplored. Then again, I'm still waiting for Pikmin 4, and that isn't happening, so who knows? Hello, person who I do not know how to pronounce the name of. Here we go. Welcome to the stream. Today we are doing really fun stuff in Mario Maker 2, where we are recreating a game in it. Today we're doing... Mo uh, Wario Land Shake It. The best way to describe it is, what if Wario Land Shake It was bad? And that's how you get this. <laughs> we go ahead and do that. Honestly, I feel like that's pretty good. Oh, but now you have to actually make it up. Do not stand there. <laughs> Don't stand there. That's the that's the hint. Hi, Twister. How are you doing? Nope, don't stand there. <laughs> Forgot about that. Don't stand there directly in his face either. Hi. This is actually surprisingly difficult. I'm not complaining though. Just because this is a remake doesn't mean I'm not going to make it extremely hard in the later levels. I went easy on the first couple. Alright, and I think we're pretty much done with this area. Not a truthful recreation, but a recreation at the best. At least, I mean. <laughs> and remember, we still have the rest of the level. <laughs> this is just the beginning.
Alright, let's go ahead and bring that up. Go ahead and do this. Why are there seven people watching this? <laughs> this isn't that good of a stream. It's just simply making a level. Ah, now, now we're losing people. Wonderful. Alright, now we're finally outside. We finally get to use bomb blocks again. These, of course, are being represented with the uh, standard gray bricks. Another 50 coin. Wow. I just realized something. I'm going to go back here. Yeah, that is a giant gold bag. Where's the treasure chest in this level? Oh, wait. I think I missed something. Yeah, there's another thing up here. I'm doing God's work. Yes, I am creating where Something that no one has ever attempted to do before. Probably. I don't know of anyone who's done Wario Land Shake It levels, so I think I'm the only one. This is a Red Koopa, though. All the normal banded heroes are being replaced with spikes. All the yellow ones are always just going to be pair red paratroopers. Eh, I guess that makes sense. Give you a shout out now. Welcome to the stream, Sandra. That is your shout out. I hope you are happy. Wario Land make it! Oh my gosh. That is perfect. I half want to use that as the title. Actually, probably more than half want to make... Because that is an epic name for this series, not going to lie. <laughs> like, legitimately. What am I doing? Recreating the level? Recreating it like Mero did Mario 1? Well, you see, I played Mario... I played Wario... I played Wario Land Shake It. So I'm recreating Wario Land Shake It. Also, we need ourselves some more spike... Alright, so our first spike is, like, right here. Ah, timer. Also, we have something up here. That starts, like, right here. We'll get there, though. Pretty sure it has like a thickness of this. How much level have we used? About one, two, three, four, five screens out of about six out of ten. Although a majority of the rest takes place in the sub area. I might be able to scrunch this in. Okay. So that takes place, like, right over here. It's literally just that, I think. 
No, it's a one up. Am I making the whole game? Yes. Yes, and it's for a very simple reason. Only a few people can understand it. It's because I feel like it. <laughs> you are still here, but you haven't been active. That's fine. Alright, so how did I make these? How did I make the pyramid? I made it like two up. Made it go up one. Fill that in. Do that. Have a downward slope. Extend that. And then bam. Wait, no, this is supposed to be one over. Like that. There we go. We have that whole section. Great. And then in here I need to have star pipe. I'm going to have this one just facing upwards. And then on top of this I'm going to have a paratroopa. Wario is fast. Eh, maybe. Making other games in War Mario Maker 2? Not really. This is just something fun that I wanted to try out. It's not supposed to become its own full-on series. I mean, it kind of is, but... I'm not going to do more of this, probably. Like, if you guys really enjoy it, I might. But... Most likely, this will just be a small little fun thing that I do for this game, because I, I might do it for Kirby's Epic Yarn, but even that's a stretch. Just because I grew up that, with that challenge as well, or, or game. Alright, I should probably start adding in some of the enemies. On New Super Mario Bros. U, probably would have been a better idea, but the only problem is then we don't have the right themes. Oh, I need to make this section. Because this section is missing. Alright, I need some cloud blocks. Remake 1-1 I already have. <laughs> Not in Mario, bro. Not Mario 1-1. Wario 1-1. I'm half expecting 90% of people to skip it just because it has 1-1 in the title. So it's going to be like, uh, another one of these. Alright, so how do I recreate ladders in this style? Like trees, maybe? Trees are really dumb, though. Like, look at this hitbox.
Not really much I can do about it, though. Whatever. If that's the best I can have, then that's the best I can have. Ah. That'd be cool, Dr. Callus Robot. Do a Sea of Gaming impression? Nah. Hooray. <laughs> mm. So that's one problem. We have to find a way to break that. And we don't have any of those guys. I might just make those giant thwomps. Or like a giant thwomp. They have to break through. Alright. So up here we also have a couple of spikes. The spikes are just going to end up um, killing each other. That's the sad part. Hey, at least it's a way to make sure you have the invincibility star. So many spikes. Yeah. And yeah, you can definitely cheese this by just going over. Nice, we got it. Yeah, we'll make it so you have to get up the star bear. Nice. Alright, so, here, we're supposed to have something to block off the exit entrance if you... Oh, I know what I can do. This is actually a really simple way to block off the entrance. Just go ahead and make the pipe over some spikes. Like I can do this. Go ahead, grab myself a spike block. Turn it into a blue spike block. Put it there. And now if you've already hit the switch, that'll be on. Cool. This one only took like, what? Three screens? One, two, three. Three and a half screens? Not terrible, honestly. We still have three screens left. And honestly, we have the majority of this upper portion. So that's actually pretty good. Alright, see ya. Oh, that's how you pronounce your name. Biggie. I feel dumb. Alright. I'm gonna start I'm gonna start it like right up here. Way up here. Also this needs to be yellow. Put this one more out.
Oh, beige. Okay. Thank you for correcting me. I do not want to be rude. I hope to see you around. Alright, see ya, Baj. What Shovel Knight would look like? Probably cool. Also, I need to be able to c create this. Oh, I can do this. Then I can go over here. Create that. Oh, I see what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to create some way for a spike to throw a spike ball directly into this area. I ended the stream. Incorrect. Actually, I'm going to leave it here. So that way I can start copying some of this. Back that up. Uh, this is kind of annoying. And not pause it. Come on. Ah, there we go. That's a really good view. That this is row like what three? One, two, three. Then there's one more right here. I mean, I was only at 37 subscribers before Steve shouted me out, so it's an increase to say the least. Then again, that was. I think a lot of it I've just grown on my own. But yeah, I'm definitely grateful for what Steve did. He helped this channel become what it is today. See, so yeah, Steve is an epic gamer. 100%. Ah, I can do this. Do this. What about Nathaniel Bandy? Oh wait, I just realized something. I need to go back in one moment. I need to go back for this pipe.
Because out here I actually... Yeah, there's this metal block here. So I need to somehow make a metal block, and that's what I was going to use the thwomp for. Mega Epic Thwomp. Alright. Cool. Alright, speed up this. Where is that? That's underneath there, so... This is the room. I can go ahead and put a giant spike here. here we go. Might not be canonically accurate, but it's what's required. I need to actually, you know, let him attack. Looks like it works. Alright. Cool. <laughs> First, a word from our sponsor. Rage Shadow Legends. Honestly, I'll take a sponsorship from them because then I could actually be, use the money to make better videos. Maybe even get an editor instead of doing everything myself. I'm fine doing everything myself, but it just takes a while. Speaking of takes a while, remember when I said I was going to do, um, what was it called? Smash Brothers The Games Must Go On? Yeah, that's still happening, it's just taking a while. So I have to put another tree here. Uh, this is so confusing. Such a large area. Doesn't help that it's like 10 o'clock where I am in Eastern Time Zone. Do you have this upwards area? Okay, just jump directly upwards then. Okay. Let me zoom out here. I'm going to put you back here, actually. Go ahead. Send that to there. Bring this up. This is actually much higher. I can put it there. I'm fine with that. I really should play Shovel Knight. It's a shame that I haven't yet. Alright. Yeah, I haven't played Shovel Knight. I really want to. It feels like it would be a fun platformer. Alright. We can do this. Yeah, that sounds like a problem. 
Alright, so this is going to be the top of the area. After I'm done with this area, I'm going to move it down into the previous area. Oh, man. The geometry is the one thing that's, like, really throwing me off. Because everything is perspective and everything is just, like, so weird. And I'm concerned about the space as well, so I'm somewhat compressing it as well. Like, this is supposed to be a much more open room. Uh. Hey, Cherry, welcome to the stream. Oh, yeah, this is all ground. This is just its own little room. Verdi coin. I think I put one more cloud block here. Pause it. Because this is what we have so far. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as what I thought it was going to be. Wait, is this all just a straight drop? It is. Ooh, I like that. That means I can just go straight down. And this goes down to where the ladder should be. So it goes down to like right here. So this whole area needs to be filled up with a lot of blocks. Wonderful. Yeah. A lot of it's going to be um, taking very large, what's the best word? There's a lot of ideas and concepts I'm going to have to implement that are not in the game. Like the quicksand in the next level. And yeah, I'm going to be doing the secret levels before, in the order that they arrive in. So I'm going to be doing Disturbing Tomb next. So this goes lower, right? This goes to like right here. All right, I think that is good. And yeah, I know there's supposed to be a ladder right there, but we're going to replace that with a tree. It's the only thing that somewhat makes sense. Honestly, not a bad idea. I think what I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like donut blocks above pipes because some quicksand takes you to a secret area. Or I'm just going to have pipes in general. And the quicksand doesn't kill you. It just slows down your movement. Like even if you hit the bottom of the quicksand, you don't die. It just slows you down somewhat. Now enemies can cause you to die while you're in the quicksand, but really it's not that much of a threat. Alright, let me go ahead and grab a tree. This is like the only level that we're actually going to use trees in. What? Treason? Wait, I want to see something. 
right here. Okay, yeah, that does end. It ends a lot farther down, though. It ends like right there. Yeah, that works. A l that looks a lot more like it. How many screens did we use here? About one, two, three. About three screens. Hey, Cyber Kirby, welcome to the stream. All right, see you, Sandra. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be streaming, honestly. Because we've already been streaming for almost three hours. Actually, I should probably take the bottom before I take the top. And move it down. Nice. Do a part three? I probably will. I don't want to take the slopes. Because that's just a recipe for disaster. I'll take those in a separate move. Alright, do this move. Make sure I grab everything. Nice. Grab this. Alright. Epic. And then the last part. I like how the spikes are just laughing as we move them. Alright, nice. I think that's it. We still have a lot of a level, though, left. Because remember, we still have, like... The rest... We aren't even in the escapes... We aren't even in the escape section yet. You're kidding me, right? Please tell me he can break it. Closer. I don't want to have to do more of this. Yeet another one! Nope. It's literally like so close but so far away. Really? I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah. Hopefully that'll fix it. Kill him. Don't put me in a wall. Okay. Okay, yeah, that fixes it. So let's see if we can beat this section. Let's do that. Perfect, Luigi. That's exactly what I wanted. No, I don't want to start from the beginning. You know, I'm going to see if it's possible from beginning to there. Because we've done a lot without playtesting it. We got that. Eat another one. There we go. Epic. Yeah. 
So we have this. You can't get up. Instead, you have to actually wall jump up here. You go up here. What do you know? You have a spike ball that destroys that. You go up here. You actually have to go up here. You wait over here. He breaks that. It feels like I'm making a troll level, but I'm not. I think that's the best way to describe it. It's weird. It's just all the steps that you have to take. It feels like an instruction list. I feel like this is one of the most puzzling levels that we've made. Now I do give the player a shell. I do have to be worried about that because they can easily get up higher with a shell jump. I'll have to make sure my areas are way higher up. We go up here. Through the pipe we go. Oh wait, I just realized something. That spike trap can easily be avoided with like a... I have a solution. With the Invincibility Star, you can easily avoid that spike trap. But if we do this, we go ahead and put a donut block here. You're required to wait there for a little bit more time. So now even if you're really fast, hopefully it should work. Perfect. I think it, doing a shell jump is more difficult than actually doing the rest of a level in the intended way. Because even if you wait here, oh, uh, you still can do it. Oh, and it's a one-way door. Do I want it to be a one-way door? Yes, I do. I'll make it free blocks tall. Here we go. Give me star. Get up tree, please. And you can still make it. How do you make it so you have to waste more time? Hmm. I do not know. At this point, I might as well just do this. Go ahead, put one of these here. Bada boom, bada bing. There you go. Now it's moving. And it won't move when that happens. Yep, that should work. P-Switch, not a bad idea. That would have worked as well. I still haven't beaten this section normally. 
But now basically, now you can still enter with the start, but you can't, if you are, if the on on off switch is turned off, it won't work. I don't know. This should be right. Cool. Alright, so let's see. What's the next section? How many sections do we have left? Mm. This still needs to be in a sub area. Yeah. Forget that. All right. So we're going to get rid of this pipe. And we're going to replace it with a door. Go up here. There we go. Actually, I'm going to make that three blocks tall. Alright. Epic. I have some more ideas for levels? Yep. I have a bunch of them. I mean, I kind of have to, because we got a bunch left to go. Alright, this needs to be one block higher. Just so that way we can go ahead, go over here, and put down a twister. There it is. We're not going to have a level that's this extended, most likely, but, oh well. I'm having it that extended. Yeah, what about using the Tanuki Leaf and Hammer? To this, I'm going to have, like, a track block going up and down. How far away is this? Like, that's the cannon. And that's the wall. Huh. Oh, I know what I can do. Yeah, this will work. Yeah, I should probably go to sleep soon. Just so that way I don't, I don't get over exhausted from this. Like, this shouldn't be that exhausting, but. Eh. It takes some out of you.
Oh, I just realized I can do this. Move this down one. And now you go ahead, whack that. And that works. Alright, so that should work. And then how do I make sure the player doesn't accidentally go through here? Oh, I could just do this. Just a track block. But yeah, I should really probably end the stream soon, but probably not. I don't know. It all depends. Alright. Go ahead and do this. Alright. Nice. So now this is turned into this. What a monstrosity of a level. We'll say I did like um, Stone... What was it? Stone Carving City more. Can confirm. And we still haven't even reached the escape section. Is there a whole never section after this? I thought there was. No. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. I think it works out somewhat. All right. Oh, I can do this. This is what I need to do. Put that there. Yeah, that looks right. Put this, like, right here. Extend it out. And you have this upside down. Have that extending upward. Then you go ahead, go over here. And remember, this is the first level. There's a second level that's similar to this with the quicksand. We haven't even got into that. up. Go ahead, close that. 
So let's see. Will this actually work? You have a bunch of random blocks. It kind of looks messy, but there isn't really a lot to say about it, because normally these would be cannons, and... Last time I checked, cannons aren't in Mario Maker 2. They aren't... Well, I'm sure hackers probably put them in, but even if they did, they aren't cannon. Yeah, this section is really easy without the cannons. I hate that idea for a game. I think everyone else does too. So this is only up to like here. Really? That's what this is? It's literally this? So this would be, like, right up here. No, that'd be just, like, literally right here. Oh, I can extend this upwards. Oh, it drops off at one point. So I could just do this, and then this is like here. I don't have to fill in all of this, but I am going to anyway, because I can. Hopefully. There's only one canonical Waluigi game, and it's called Waluigi's Taco Stand. There are none others. The only reason um, Waluigi Taco Stand is not licensed by Nintendo is because you're scared of a fan base it will create. Oh, I know what I can do for this. Literally make it a giant thwomp. So once you get up here, you literally have to let it break through, and there you go. Congratulations, I've done it. Alright, so I need to have some way to make it where you break through like a ton of um, bricks. Hmm. Well, first of all, up here, I'm going to go ahead and put a warp box. I feel like that's a one good thing that I can do. Oh yeah, Psycho Waluigi 2. I really need to play that. I need to play some of those fan games.
All right, there we go. That should be it. Can I put this behind it? Yes, but I don't want to do that in case they like get up here. And then they don't go into warp box. Because that would be very sad if they went ahead and made it all this way. And then not even to get into the warp box. Oh. Okay. We're out of ground blocks. So that's good to know. Perfect. So yeah, now we're out of ground blocks, so now everything gets way more difficult because now we actually have to limit out our resources. Can we see this? Yes. Yeah, this is a very interesting level, to say the least. Can I remove just, like, this? This much? No. We have to add in a layer of air. And we have to add in, like, two layers here. Here we go. Uh, we can see that over there. Well, that... Does that fix it? Almost. Put, like, that. That should fix it. Pull like three blocks over there. Maybe something like that. That should be enough. I don't see any way how it could not be enough. Yeah, that's enough. And this is alright over here? Please tell me it's alright. You gotta be kidding me. Nope, it's just not alright in general. Can't we take some from over here? I feel like that has some possibility. I feel like, like, we could take this much, and that should be fine. Alright, let's try this. Oh wait, I need to be over, like, here. And yeah, you can see that over there. Not surprising. Can you see it now? Yes. I need like one more layer all around and that should be enough. Yeah, that works.
you shouldn't even be able to technically get in here, but I feel like someone's gonna. Maybe. And hey, it looks nice still. Sweet, we did it. Does it look okay from this side, though? No. Like, put this. I'd say one more layer will do it. Alright, let's do this. And yeah, completely invisible. We just we just excavated this entire side. And now we get to this room. Now it's supposed to be like where you shoot up from the cannon, right? So how do we do that? Oh, I know. I'm I'm overthinking this way too much. For one, we want to be all the way on the left side, pretty much. What we're going to do is we're going to fill this entire space up with brick blocks. Then what we're going to do? We're going to put twisters. Uh, I didn't want to do this. Actually, I don't think we can. What we're going to do, right as you enter this room, we're going to activate a P-switch. And this P-switch will basically let you fly up. It's your fly away to victory. We can have this be pressed by like a thwomp. Actually, I'm going to have it be pressed by a big thwomp. Ah. Here we go. I am sorry, but if you are younger than thirteen, I must ban you. I'm sorry, AMGG, but I must report you or ban you. I'm not sure which I'm required to do. Sorry. Sorry, I can't have Koopa coming after me. I don't want to do it, but it is required by Kappa. Also, you're not legally allowed to have a YouTube account.
Ah, yes, we're out of ground again. Is there anything I could use to substitute for ground? I could use hard blocks in some of these areas. Just to replace the ground as decoration. Like over here, I could just go ahead. Go straight through this entire thing. Replace this all with hard blocks. And there we go. Now we have 6,000 blocks of ground instead of 4,000. Wow, this might actually work. But this is... But this is taking into our... Or tacking into our hard block supply. So we can't just, like, spam this. Alright. Man, I am tired. I really should end the stream. We are close to finishing the level, though. So there is that. I might just go ahead and finish the level. I think we can just do this. This should work. Maybe I just won't replace it up here. Yeah. I'll just leave that. Nice. Hey, I am Master. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, that should be good enough. If this doesn't give us enough ground blocks, we might have to go back, but... I think it still looks pretty nice as well. Let's go ahead and fill this area up. Nice. Ah. 
Oh, man. Then I'll just make it at the top where... Oh, I know what I can do. I can just literally make this... An infinite timer. Where it's like, I go over here... You have yourself a pipe... that there. Here we go. Then that starts. And then you have some piece which blocks. Some cloud blocks. You have another layer of cloud blocks. Can you still see? They do not still spawn. So you have to like go up here. One in too late. I went into the to the box. Then you have to jump up here. Okay. This should work. Wow, I'm actually using the P block, which is surprising since I never used the P block. It's a surprisingly useful tool, it's just that I never use it. Now we get to this. Alright. How do we make stuff that's only passable after you've done this? Hmm. Why does this have to be so dumb? Why can't they just had dotted line blocks? Oh, I know what I can do. Ah, I can make these P blocks as well. Ah, this could work. Then I can also have a spike here. Where is Spike? He's a big boy. Go ahead, put this over here. Put some hard blocks over here. Alright. Let's see. What do we got? Do we have to... Yeah, this whole area is a little bit on the no side because it ain't happening.
I'm going to compress it a little bit, just by a little bit, you know, just everything in one little space. <laughs> no, I need to move some of this stuff across. Yeah, we're still on this level. This is going to take a while. We still have the escape section left. Go ahead, get a pipe. There we go. Make this a star pipe. Um, no, the final boss. You have a vertical auto scroller. Not much you can do about that. Speaking of not much you can do about, uh, how are we gonna make? You know what? I'm just gonna put sting bees in here because ver... I don't think anyone's legitimately used a sting bee in their level that isn't um, a hot garbage a hot garbage level. Oh no. I forgot it goes through clouds. Um, that's a problem. Not really. It just means we finally get to use semi solids. And by use them, I mean possibly if they decide to work. I do not like these semi solids. Why can't they just have made them so? Oh, so that works. So they can't overlap with clouds. Yes, I have no. St I'm I'm so dumb. I, I mean, clouds are obviously the most dense object there are. I'm sure Kirby can defeat it. Cause, I mean, you still have the ability of the... I think Kirby still could defeat it with his jab because he could use his smash attacks. And, I mean, he does have inhale to spit out Mario. All right. So now we have this. I feel like there's only one option. This guy is the top of the mountain. We have him throw a spike ball after you get up here. What's the right thing to do here? Or actually, no. We have like a spike ball here. And we have it rolling. But it's rolling against a conveyor belt. Where is a conveyor belt? There we go. So it goes here. And yeah, it can't make it past. 
So what will happen is you go ahead, go up here. Spike throws his thing. Breaks through there. You go ahead, grab that. Then the spike ball rolls and it crushes the piece switch. There we go. Oh uh, man. You can use right stick for smash attacks. That's what I have it normally set as. Oh no, I just realized we can't use P switches. I just realized you can't use P switches because then that messes with the coin counter. Ugh. We can't sacrifice the coin counter. I forgot about that. Oh, I'm dumb. All right. We just reached a problem. Thankfully, I think I have a solution. So what if we go ahead and just put some of these here? We go ahead and make red pows. Go in here. Oh, I should probably make these longer so it looks like it's breaking apart as you go up. Plus, that gives me more ground to work with. Alright, so what's going on? Basically, before I was using a P-switch, but remember, this is what my clear condition is. The clear condition is to use at least 332 coins. It would be all, but if because I have a P-switch here... Technically, some of these brick blocks could turn into coins. And if they can turn into coins, that means, under all technicality, that, well, what if the player grabs these as well? So yeah, that's a problem. So we're fixing that now. By removing the P-switches. By instead making this a chain reaction of Wonderful spike balls. Here we go. Oh, these guys are triggering each other. Does that still work? Okay, yeah, that still works. And this can just be a... Uh, I have to find something now that actually works. Hmm. 
Because if it's a hard block, what's to stop you from just... Going ahead, just going right here. Ignoring this whole thing. I can do this, maybe. Hmm. Man. This is very annoying. Oh, they just start from the... Unless I literally transport myself through the warp box, they just go to the left. Oh, I know what I can do. Alright, here's what my plan is. You go ahead, and I'll remove this. One block of that. You might be able to grab that star, but probably not. Here we go. Oh yeah. Uh, this is confusing and dumb. So I make it so you have to run after it. Oh well. If you don't get the star, oh well. That's your own fault. Uh, I don't feel like that's correct. Though. I feel like there's a better way to do this. Oh, yeah, that's what I could do. I am dumb. I can just do this. Oh, great, we're out of ground tiles again. That's wonderful. Where can I go ahead and take some from? Actually, I want to take it from more from the top. From this level. Because it looks pretty bland. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually just going to go ahead and take this entire thing out. Just replace it with a giant semi-solid. If the game will let me. It will! Oh man, it actually worked. There we go. That gives us a whole lot more ground tiles to work with. Thank you, semi-solid. You finally have come in use.
I don't know. Uh, what should I do? I'm out of ideas. There's got to be something that I can use to hit. To activate something or other. Oh, I can do this. Do that. And then I can go ahead and... What's something that I can't go through? Remember, I don't have any power-ups in this level, so this should work. Alright, if I've played my cards right, it should work. Because now the only way you can get through is by hitting this. Except I give you a star! Why? Mm. How do I do this? How do I not require a star now? <sighs> How do I make it so it works? Try never pow. Yeah, but the pow breaks the actual um, spike ball. And since I give the player a star, that just ruins that whole section as well. You know what? I'm not going to give the player a star. I'm not going to give the player anything. They're on their own. Here we go. Sorry, but this is the only way that I know how. So now you gotta go ahead, you have to wait for it, and then you have to go run past through it. S finally, something. Some semblance of a challenge or something. Thank goodness. And there you go, this is this whole section. Except way shorter. Because it kinda has to be. And then what I'm gonna have over here, this is where I need the spike ball for. I'm going to have it hit a red pow before it basically, that basically breaks some launchers or something. Here's what my idea is. It goes ahead in like right over here. Where is it? There it is. It hits a red pow, and this red pow will go ahead and break this. Oh wait, I can just do this.
And this, of course, will be to where the warp box is. And if you fail, well, now you're stuck going down the pipe. It's finally some semblance of progress. Um, what I know about Smash Brothers, um, Jigglypuff will die if she, even if she's at a portal, because the portal could serve as her momentum, but she does have limited momentum, meaning it is physically possible to get, lose that momentum and actually survive, but it's really difficult. Remember, you have to collect all these coins as well. Oh, I need that to fire something that isn't a bullet bill. What should I make it spawn? I'll make it spawn like a boo. Uh, I wish there was a way to not make it spawn anything. I can't make it spawn coins because that's part of a clear condition. Yeah, I'll just make it spawn booze. Alright, I think I got it. Oh, I'm dumb. I just make it so tall that it literally can't... That it literally cannot spawn anything. I'm dumb. Confirmed. Yeah, I really need to go ahead and go to sleep. I'm not falling asleep during the stream. That isn't happening ever again. Probably is possible to. It's probably impossible to unload the spike ball, but. Eh, I don't know. I've done enough with this. I think it's safe to say. Alright. And then I'm pretty sure this spawns you, like, right over here. I believe. Oh yeah, I literally... Yeah, I did this separate little recording thing. It spawns you right near the tree. Where's the tree? Right here. Yeah, this literally spawns you right over here. Hey, nice. And then you have this whole section. Hmm.
I don't know. I think this this should be a pipe. I could make it just a pipe. And I'll just put an arrow into this pipe. Alright. Alright. We're almost there. Ah, oh, man, I forgot. I did do that. Aw, oh, man, and I took all my footage off of my capture card. Great. Hey, Kaka, welcome to the stream. Alright, here's what I'm thinking. Well, not what I'm thinking. I'm going to go ahead and... Let me go ahead and do this. Where is it? Oh yeah. I'll just type in like Wario. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and look at this. See if we can... Go like right here. Nice. Just so that way we can see what it is. <laughs> yep, I am streaming. Yeah, I know the search results. Alright, here we go. Now we're actually making progress. Finally. Actually, I'm just going to have this be one block thick. This is like... Actually, I can just count out how many blocks it is. It's one, two, three, four, five... It's eight blocks. Seven. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is sixteen. And yeah, I know the camera's probably off center. <laughs> There's gonna be basically no place play testing to this. Also, I need a spike right here. Spike ball. How do we make a... How do we make this fly... It's not this. This just falls, yeah. I guess there's no way to make these guys fly sideways, so... Oh well. I guess he's not flying sideways. Oh well.
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This is the number sixteen one. And also here where you have a few flying Koopas. Now I wish I gave the player a star. Whatever, I'll just make this this wide. Alright. Tracks? Yeah, where? This is 3D world. I'm going to go ahead and make this a wonderful pipe, just because I feel like it's necessary for this to be a pipe. Of course that's free bandaneros. Hooray. So this has to be free spikes, actually, not one. Not like they're going to do much. Yeah, this is just enemy spam, essentially. And there's not much I can do about it. Here we go. Required enemy spam. Actually, technically, right here, I could give the player a star. He is never out of that section. I don't have to worry about them ruining it with the pokey. Into the pipe. Glitch that I'll have to do is start over. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Sorry. I'm not doing the black hole glitch. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing any of that. Man. Man, we've been going for four hours now. Wonderful. Alright, let's move this up to the top. Now let's go down here. Let me go ahead make a little dispenser pipe. Or not pipe, um, box. Actually, I'm just going to make a little thing over here, and then I'm going to make dash blocks. Uh. Oh yeah, it's not the black hole glitch. I'm, I know I saw a video on how to do it, but yeah. It resets your toolbar every time you reset, which is a shame.
Man, I don't know where to box dispenses you, though. That's the problem. I'm pretty sure it just dispenses you right over here. I'll have it dispense you right over this section. Wait, you can't reach that, right? Yeah, there ain't no way you're getting in there. Would you look at the time? It's time for us to be out of ground tiles again. Thankfully, we have this trick that we can use. Alright. There we go. <laughs> Favorite time of day. It's almost midnight in the Eastern Time Zone. Here we go. You have to go in here. That puts you all the way back here. And then you have to make your way down. And of course this path would be already cleared. All of this would already be cleared technically. Except you couldn't go back through here. Well, you could. But that isn't going to get you anywhere. Oh yeah, we need to actually start making some more of this. Oh wow, we are at the top. Did not know that. Alright. Oh, I can take a huge chunk of this. Like, even more. I can probably take, like, from here to here. All of this. Just remove it all. Replace it with an outline of this. We can do this, guys. We're almost through this. We are so close. So far away, but so close nonetheless. Out of all the levels, I would say this one is the most weird to create. So you have to go ahead. We have a couple of platforms for you to jump off of. Oh, I'm... 
dumb. I could have used P blocks instead to replace the donut blocks. Just hollowed out P blocks. Oh, no time like the present to start using them. So that's only going to be one step in elevation. Then we have ourselves a tree that we physically can't even fit. And that's really close to the ground. I don't know. It's so close to the ground that... It's weird. I'm not sure. How do we make it so it's only one way if you fall down? Oh well, you're dead. Or not, you're dead, but you have to give him to a pipe. I couldn't make it so if you fall, you land and hit on... and you hit something. Like this, I could do this. Dash pads? Nah. You can still jump up from those. This is so heavily compressed, it would be... You would literally have to try not to cheese it. Oh, I know what I can do. I can go ahead and... Where is it? Ah, you can't overlap that? Alright. Oh, I can use a cloud block. Nope. Alright, I can use some sort of 
thing that you can't pass through. Sorry if I'm not talking a lot. Not a lot to say. Alright, so basically what I'm doing is I'm making it so if you go ahead and you accidentally fall down here, you trigger the snake block, which immediately crushes to the bomb, which will go ahead and we'll do this. Where is it? On-off block. I don't normally like ruining my layers. I like having two layers, but... Crisis... Desperate times cause call for desperate measures. So basically what will happen is you're jumping around, you fall down here, you hit this, that triggers the on-off block and there's nothing you can do to stop it. And if you trigger the on-off block, something over here will go ahead and activate or not activate. I can go ahead and have a pipe here. Where are they? Here we are. Where is Spike? Oh, this is literally just a wall like this. This is so this is so compressed. It's crazy. This is physically a bad Yeah, we're not adding that slope. We don't have enough material. Also, we need to have one more. Unfortunately, this has to trigger an on-off block. Which means if you hit both, then technically it would still trigger only one on-off block. Or would it? I have an idea. What if you made this go on a magical journey that ended it? Directly in front of you. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put one of these right here, one of these, 
One of these. There we go. Alright. So here, if you do either one, you go ahead and fall down here, bam! That's activated. You go ahead, you go down here, you hit this, bam! That's activated. What this one does is, if you're not bad, and you're like, oh no, I fell and I messed up. Well, now what it does is it pushes those in there so you have no physical hope of actually doing it. What just happened? I heard, like, did the f no way? Did that kill the b bullet bill blaster or something? Yes. How does it kill the bill blaster? What? Fine. Sure. That works. This is so compressed and so bad. There isn't much we can do about it, though. Oh, wait. Wrong, wrong warp pipe. This one's over this area, I believe. Alright. There we go. Here we go. And that's pretty much the level. Now we just gotta upload it. And that's it. I'm gonna add another 100 seconds because I feel like we're gonna need it. So I think it's safe to say that I'm not going to use um, 3D World for that much. Can I please move cursor backwards? Fine, I guess I can't. I have to literally backspace because it won't let me. Oh, now it lets me go ahead and select that. Think about it this way, we have five worlds, not eight. Alright, so what should we use for our thumbnail? We need Spike in the thumbnail. Not this mess. Not this catastrophe of monstrosities of horrifyingly evil things. This is a good thumbnail.
412 coins. I should have added eight more. All right, this is play testing it. Hey, Tabs fanboy, welcome to the stream. Also, one thing I need to do. I'm going to go back here. Oh, wait, this was a separate tab. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. So yeah, I'm not going to make many things in 3D World style. It's just not worth it. Aw, oh, I didn't get the drop. Tried to do something cool, it didn't work, and I died. As you do. That. Don't. Okay. Got it. Alright, wait for the Koopa to go up. I do not watch um, Scott the Waz. I've seen some of his videos, but I don't like. I'm not, I'm not subscribed to him. I better not be dumb and miss a coin. I would say that this is the most difficult recreation thus far. Bounce. Nope, don't die. Okay, I'm good. Go up! Thank you. Nice. Yeah, there's only about 35 levels here. This is level 3. So, we've actually done quite a bit, if you think about it that way. Nope, wall jump, please. Hit. Go here, grab the star. Alright, grab the 30. Go up here, kill the thwomp. Alright, go over. Avoid the spike. It's, n it's definitely not a perfect level, but it works. I think everyone can agree that this is not a perfect level. All 
Alright, go up here. Ah! Did not mean to do that. I can do this. Aw, that would have been cool if I actually got it, but I did not. Doesn't mean I'm not going to try for it again. I'm not, but I didn't mean that specifically. You have that. You have this little thing. We have this. Go in here. An escape section. Run away from our problems, also known as this level. So many problems in this level. I died to that! That's the thing I died to. The very last enemy, pretty much. Spike for the spike ball. Um, small problem with adding checkpoints. You can't. There's a, there's a clear condition. Remember that. I would love to have added checkpoint. Like literally, there's an there's a sp literally in the level. Literally back here. There's a checkpoint. It literally says, Congratulations, you got yourself a checkpoint. Bam! It literally tells you, you got yourself a checkpoint. So don't, so I literally wanted to add a checkpoint, but you can't. Also, I forgot to add a 1-up, but I'm not adding one. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get offended or anything, but... I think it's just funny more than anything. Ah. Need to get my nose. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, the clear conditions necessary, especially for multiplayer, to prevent cheese. Also, I mean, this is based off of all my coin challenge. So, you know, kind of defeats the purpose if you don't have to collect every coin. Crouch. I'm not looking forward to Disturbing Tomb, to say the least, honestly. Like, the majority of these levels... Really? Oh! He's just like, I am dead.
The majority of these levels are fun. The majority of the levels I'm looking forward to. What? It just shoves the spike closer to me. I think this level is now just here to torment me. You know what, I'm actually gonna go ahead really quickly and switch the view really quickly to voice chat. Alright. Which is without the TV or without my computer screen in it. Alright, it's time to stop being bad and I'm just gonna win. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna win. Immediately dies. Don't die. Alright, I need to tell myself the sacred motto. Do not be bad. I didn't die. I started over. Here we go. Nice. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you're not wrong. I completely agree with you, Danny. Like, with the spikes breaking everything apart, you have a bunch of really cool stuff, but the thing is, it's just bad. So many, like, you have enemy spam, you have lots of spikes, you have gimmicky twisters, you have really long waits with exclamation block. Oh yeah, I forgot that that kills me, Bear. Forgot that. You have a lot of stuff in this level. It's just too long in general, even. I think that's one of the biggest problems. It's just too long. Like, if I had devoted one whole level to the spikes breaking stuff apart, which I think I have, actually. Yeah, I have. I think that would be fine. But instead, I decided to make this entire level based on so many different ideas that no one idea gets a shine. Which is the whole thing that 3D Land, or no, 3D World and Odyssey do. But Odyssey at least has some structure to it. I would boo this level. And this is level 3! <laughs> Think about how horrible the levels will get when we have things like the, um, what is it? It was Glitter Town, where you literally have level that is completely dedicated to geysers that go up and down. How are we ever going to create something like that? Maybe Rising Water, but the theme is it's a carnival. So then you have to use 3D World's airship theme. Which has two problems with it. One, it's the airship theme, so what is that going to do with water? And two, it's 3D World, so it just sucks in general. <laughs> There's no right answer. Oh wait, I need another star. I am a superstar. We got it! Going to pipe. Oh, we might be able to kill this spike. No! I should have just ran for it, and I would have been safe. I can slide down that. I can literally slide down that slope and kill the spike. Alright, that's the end of the stream. Bye! Okay, no. <laughs> Uh. 
I think it's safe to say that this is the most difficult level so far. It'll be great when this is the most difficult level out of the entire run. Use twisters for what? Oh, yeah. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I think that... Actually? Compared to anything that I could have thought of, that actually makes sense. Plus, it makes for some tricky platforming on stuff that's supposed to be tricky. I mean, that's late world free. So, I mean, it would make sense to have some tricky platforming in it. I say, well, on the hardest level of level three. I hate the camera now. No, you know what? I don't even hate the camera. I'm tired and I'm playing poorly. I need to not just make excuses with, oh, the game is bad. No, I just need sleep and I'll get this first try. Instead, it's more fun to be sl Actually, no. Don't make this mistake. Okay. We didn't. Spike, destroy the wall. Nope, 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 nope. That's a whole lot of nope right there. That's nope. Just, just nope. Okay, we got the coin up there. I think twisters can be put on springs, but I don't think they bounce. I think they just stay in one spot. How are we not dead, and why are we not dead? Also, one thing I'm doing is I'm trying to speedrun this, but I really shouldn't be. That's a whole lot of nope. Get me out of here. I see what you're saying, but I don't like that idea. Like, the platforming's already gonna be stupid enough. I don't think people want it to be even more stupid. Like, look at this. This is literally enemy spam. Four spikes in a row. I'm the creator of this level, and even I know this is horrible. I won't sugarcoat it. This is a bad level. Like, it has good, it has good intentions, but that's about as far as you can go with it. Alright, let him throw it over. And okay, we're good. I do have to grab the treasure up here, though. Uh! Nice, we got it. Birdie coin! Ironically, like, 90% of the coins are probably from just the... Um, the big coins, like the 10, 30, and 50 coins. Alright, let's hit that. Go in here, grab the 50 coin. In here, nice. Just gotta beat it, and then I think that's gonna be the end of the stream. All right, release the thwomp. Like I think that's a cool idea right there. You have the thwomp come down, release it. You have the spike balls going. I mean that's cool. 
But then you have this completely unrelated idea of the spike ball coming, and you have to very quickly go ahead and grab all these coins, otherwise you get soft locked. Well, not soft locked, but dead. Hey, Hootube, welcome to the stream. Alright, we're gonna take this nice and slow. We're not doing anything dumb. Wait, where's the last four coins? Alright, so I just realized a couple of things. One, we're missing four coins somewhere. Where, who knows. And two, I don't have a key door to the end. A key door or a key. And you know, that kind of is important. I'm just gonna... Oh, I can put the key in the pokey. I'll do that. But in terms of the key door... Now, we are missing those four coins. Just do a regular door? Nah. I mean, it technically would work because you still have to get all the coins. But it doesn't go along with what, I've, what the theme is with all of them having the key door leading to the end. This is just going to be a very simple end. I'm not doing anything special for this one. It doesn't deserve it. Okay, but seriously, I need to find those last three co four coins. Oh. I just realized I'm stupid. Also, welcome to the stream cameo. Also, welcome to the stream beat. Oh wait, forgot. I forgot to add a key. Kind of important. I kind of need that. Whoops. I'm going to put it inside of a pokey. I think that's fair. Hey, Elkem. Welcome to the stream. The stream is n almost over, pretty much. But I still have to beat and show off this level. I won't call it a good level because it's not. You have a lot of ideas and whatnot shoved into one level because you kind of have to in order to represent the true level. Yeah, I know where the last four coins are because I was dumb and I realize where they are now. At least I think I do. And if I don't, then I'm going to be sad. I'm still sad because I messed that up. I wouldn't call it it's absolute trash. I'd say this is... On a scale of 1 to 10, this is a 2. Because at least when you're playing a level 1... If you're playing a really trash level and you know it's a trash level, that can at least be fun. This isn't fun! I'm kidding. It's a, it's a little fun, but... 
you would rather be playing an actual level. Thank you for sliding instead of ducking, Luigi. That was beautiful. It brought a tear to my eye. Because I was crying from sad. Not really. <laughs> Never mind, this might be a level one. But it's just because I'm dumb. So yeah, what we have to do here is we actually have to go ahead and wait for this to go ahead and break. Basically what I did is I, for anyone that's new, I went ahead and replaced all the band, band and arrows that are normally in the level with spikes. And this goes ahead and because spikes are really epic, they go ahead and break the bricks that you normally break with the cam cannons. Also, um, the cannon has been replaced with twisters because they shoot you up into the air. So they sort of work in the same way. Not really, though. So, it's a very different level than what source material is, but it tries to keep the same sort of route. But things like, here, you would normally shake in order to break some bomb blocks that are represented with the um, hard bricks right here. But here, because we don't have the shake ability, the bandanier that's normally on top of that pyramid is now replaced with a giant spike that now throws a spike ball that now breaks those um, hard bricks. And these, and now this replaces it. Do I like 3D World? It has its purpose. This is not it. Can confirm it is not its purpose. 3D World is really good if on specific gimmicks, but not on general gimmicks. This is a level with a lot of general gimmicks. Like, I was honestly half tempted to actually make this a Link level and have you blow up these metal crates with um, Link's bombs. Only problem with that is then when I go ahead and do the next level, which is the Disturbing Tomb, you don't have a theme for it. No, 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 no! Okay, we're good. Eh! Nope. Didn't make it. This is honestly a somewhat difficult level. It doesn't help that um, I'm trying to go fast because I've already played it. Basically. So my brain's saying, okay, you know what to do. Just speed right through it. When in actuality, if I took this really slowly, I'd get it first try. And I know that. Yet I still go fast. That's one thing I don't like. 3D World cuts out so much of a game, it's kind of annoying. Like, you introduce so many new items, frozen coins, dotted line blocks, yet they are not allowed in 3D World. Like, why aren't dotted line blocks in 3D World? It makes me mad. Like, dotted line blocks are such a vital part of 3D World. Or Mario Maker 2. It's basically a crime not to have them. Alright, we need to go fast here. We were fast. Bop. Run! Here we go.
Really? I tried to snipe the spike, but in reality, he sniped me. Ah! Turn around. I think we're good. Honestly, I feel like a 3D World port would be cool. As long as they didn't reduce the difficulty even more. Like, if they added some content, I think that would be cool. Added more... Like, if they added more levels using these gimmicks really well, combining gimmicks to make new gimmicks... Like, imagine having a speed level that you have to use the ice skate for, but it's like a recreation of Mount Mustache. So you have to play through it again, but now you're in the ice skate, and now you can do all these cool stuff and you're just ramming right through enemies. If you added content like that, that mixed ideas, you would have such a powerful game. I died to the Koopa. I jumped on him, but I died. Nope, I... Not supposed to kill the spike. <laughs> Bro. Nice. Hey Ludwig, welcome to the stream. This is a recreation of 2 dash or 1 dash 2 if you are wondering what we are doing from Wario Land Shake, it, that is. Right now we just have to upload it. Which is proving to be kind of annoying. Alright, do that. Bop. Alright. We're just gonna go ahead and uh just whap. Huh go in here. Thank you. Give me a star, please. Please give me a star. Give me a star. Alright, we got it. Alright, we're good. I want to take a star into the pipe and go really fast. Got it. Nice. Also, I can see that the twister still exists at the top. Okay, that was close. Alright, I think those were the four coins that I was missing. I hope I am not wrong. Because if I'm wrong, that, that we have a bigger problem. You just watched one of my Paper Mario videos? So it was either my first stream or one of the most recent ones, which I expect was probably one of the most recent ones. And thanks, if you... And thanks for watching. 
I'm hoping to do more Paper Mario stuff. The only problem is Super Paper Mario has a few problems of doing challenges because it's so linear and you have to use everything in so many ways. I do have an, one idea from Super Paper Mario. And Color Splash, not a lot of people like Color Splash. Although I do have some more challenges for it. Alright, we got him. Hopefully that's all of them. Yeah, I think it is. I think I hit my mic, so... I might go ahead and try to fix that. Yep. Go ahead, fix that. We got it. Go in here. We're good. We got it, boys. Yeah, it was Color Splash without items. Oh, you're asking love, Ludwig. Alright, we got it. We're done. I'm done with this. With 200... We did have 200 seconds to spare, so I don't feel too bad about it. One dash two is complete. Level three out of thirty-five. All right, so what are we gonna call this? I actually don't remember the name of this level. Oh yeah, it's Whoopsie Desert. We got it. There we go. With that, it's open. Here's the code if you want to play it. I'm sure none of you do. Wow, eight people. I am surprised. Am I going to do any viewer levels? Probably not. I did do one before, but... It's about 1 in the morning where we're in the Eastern Time Zone, so... I think I'm about done. <laughs> Sorry. But... A long night. We spent over 5 hours making this. I was planning only to spend 2 to 3. Give the code again. Alright, um... I'll just pull up the free levels that have been made so far. So far we have a board to sweet stuff, which is one zero dash one with fat code. You have one one dash one or stone carving city with that code. And you have Whoopsie Desert. Or 1 2 with that code. So. So, yeah, that's the code if you want to play it. I bet none of you do because it's a bad level. <sighs> but with that, I think I'm about done for tonight. And I would like to say thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.